Hello, my name is Marshall Thomas. Loyal Americans are under attack from microwave weapons and vigilante violence known as organized stalking. I've interviewed several hundred witnesses, most of whom have a history of, as political activists or whistleblowers. The most sophisticated classified anti-personnel weapons possessed by the United States government are being used to perfect the science of behavior modification and weapons development program for microwave weapons. The four main facts of this case are as follows. One, public microwave weapons exist, such as the active denial system, which shoots a 95 gigahertz microwave electronic beam that in two seconds heats the skin to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The sensation is like touching a hot frying pan but the flesh does not immediately burn. This functions as a pain amplification device. Millowave radars are military radars used for house-to-house -house fighting. Any normal building material is transparent to these devices, while the water in the human body lights up with great definition enough to identify a person in a crowded room while looking in from outside a building through several walls. Fact number two, microwave weapons were used against the U.S. Embassy in the 1950s and against anti-nuclear protesters, mostly women and children, at Grenham Common, England in 1984. The women were attacked with U.S. electromagnetic weapons, experiencing vertical bleeding, burnt face, even at night, nausea, sleep disturbances, palpitations, loss of concentration, loss of memory, disorientation, severe headaches, temporary paralysis, faulty speech, irritability, and panic attacks, among other standard symptoms of microwave exposure. This was all verified by technical and medical personnel. Fact number three. There is a population of credible witnesses, mostly political activists and whistleblowers, saying that they have been targeted with these classified weapons. The author has interviewed over 200 targeted individuals and found them to be intelligent, well-educated, and serious people who are telling basically the same story without ever having met one another. This new Phoenix program of experimentation, torture, and murder generally focuses on dissidents and whistleblowers and people the intelligence agencies com consider to be potential enemies. This is taking place in many different countries. The targets are very much like the MK Ultra Human Experimentation Program's subjects and the dissident targets of Counterintelligence Program or COINTEL PRO run against dissidents by the FBI. Fact number four, there are persons of interest in the intelligence communities, including the man in charge of developing non-lethal microwave weapons for decades, Lieutenant Colonel John B. Alexander, as well as a man who has publicly called for using these weapons on civilians in their homes, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Aquino. These men have written military doctrine papers about how to use these weapons against not just but against individuals and civilian populations. Alexander has been instrumental in moving non-lethal weapons from the Department of Defense to the Department of Justice and placing these weapons in the hands of local law enforcement. In 1993, the National Institute of Justice began the NIJ Less Than Lethal Weapons Initiative recommending that state and local police departments in the United States utilize electromagnetic weapons against American citizens involved in domestic disturbances. The targets have been portrayed as criminals to local law enforcement or to local vigilante groups and anti-crime groups in order to motivate these people to attack the targets in the community with microwave weapons and to harass them in public places in a systematic and organized manner 
that is sponsored by the state. Most people have never heard of the active denial system or illegal programs like MKUltra and COINTEL Pro. But these are indisputable historical facts.